Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! In our Shansha Amazing episode for today, we will be talking about Earth's ocean of air or Earth's atmosphere. The Earth is completely surrounded by a sea of air known as the atmosphere. It is initially thought to be made of only one substance. However, air is in fact a mixture of many gases. Let's take a look at these gases. The average composition of the atmosphere is made up of the following gases. As you can see, Nitrogen dominates at 78.084%, followed by oxygen and some gases like argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, krypton, and hydrogen are present in small amounts. Maliban sa mga gases na makikita natin sa atmosphere, we can also describe the amount of water vapor present in air in terms of humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. In our previous discussion, we have found out that water can exist in three phases, solid, liquid, and gas. The gaseous phase of water is termed as water vapor. The amount of water vapor varies from 1 to 2% by volume on the average and it is highest over bodies of water and under high atmospheric pressure when evaporation is fast. Humidity of the air can be measured using instruments such as hygrometers, humidistats, or remote satellites. Let's have another trivia! Have you ever wondered why Earth is very rich in life forms and why its atmosphere contains a suitable mix of gases that makes life possible? But the case is different for other planets. The atmosphere of the planet Venus, which we commonly call morning star or evening star, is consists of 97% carbon dioxide with dense clouds containing sulfuric acid. That's why it's very hot in Venus. Meanwhile, the atmosphere of Jupiter and Neptune consists mainly of hydrogen, helium, and hydrogen compounds like methane. And they are termed as gas giants. In such conditions, no indication of life can happen. And as of the moment, Hypothetical scenarios have been formed based on the current environment of these planets, but no direct evidence or indication of the presence of life in Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune has been discovered. But we will never know. Maybe in the future, life may be possible in other planets. Let's proceed sa ating discussion about the layers of the atmosphere. Dahil sa iba't ibang variations in temperature mula sa sea level up to the upper limits of the atmosphere, five main layers of the atmosphere has been identified. The five layers of the atmosphere are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and the outer limit which is the exosphere. Simulan natin ang discussion with the troposphere. Ang pinakamalapit na layer sa atin ay ang troposphere. It is the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere 
and sight of all weather on earth. It is where we see winds, clouds, and water vapor. After the troposphere, we can see the stratosphere. It is the layer between the troposphere and the mesosphere, and it is nearly isothermal. Anong ibig sabihin ng isothermal? Because its lower portion has a layer of constant temperature. As we increase in altitude in the stratosphere, the temperatures increase. The stratosphere is also the ideal layer for airplanes to fly. Why is that so? As what we have said earlier, the troposphere is where weather disturbances occur. There are two reasons why commercial aircrafts fly in the stratosphere. First, the lower stratosphere is isothermal. Second, it is very dry and air contains little water vapor. Because of this, only a few clouds are found, making it a stable layer for airplanes. Pumunta na tayo sa ikatlong layer ng atmosphere, which is the mesosphere. The mesosphere is where meteors are burned into smaller fragments. Bakit dito nagbe-burn ang mga meteors? When meteors travel toward the Earth, it usually faces no problem traveling through the exosphere and thermosphere because of the lack of air in those layers. But when they hit the middle layer, the mesosphere, there are enough gases to cause friction and create heat to burn up the meteors hitting the mesosphere. That's why we see this meteors burning as it falls toward the Earth. Ang ikaapat na layer ay ang thermosphere. In this region, the air is very thin and is intensely heated by the sun's rays. The temperature rises when solar activity increases. This region is bombarded with highly charged particles, and it is where we can see the famous Aurora Borealis. The last layer of the atmosphere is the exosphere. It is simply the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, where air is very thin and mainly composed of extremely low densities of hydrogen, helium, and other molecules. Aside from the layers of the atmosphere, based on varying temperatures, we also have two major divisions of the atmosphere based on the fact that the distribution of gases is not even across all areas. To put it short, this is based on the mixture of gases. These divisions are the homosphere and the heterosphere. The homosphere is at the bottom 90 kilometers of the atmosphere, where there is a continuous movement of air masses. Ang homosphere ay tumutukoy sa homogeneous mixture of gases, except for the ozone layer which envelopes the globe around 30 kilometers above sea level. In this layer, gases are well mixed. The other division, the heterosphere, is found on the outer portion of the atmosphere where no mixing of gases takes place and gases tend to separate in layers. For example, atomic oxygen is found at the bottom of the heterosphere, followed by helium, then outward, we can find hydrogen. The term heterosphere refers to the unmixed gases in the regions. Maliban sa five layers of the atmosphere and two major divisions based on the mixture of gases, we still have another classification called the two layers in the atmosphere based on the distribution of the very reactive form of oxygen called ozone and electrically charged particles called ions. To put it short, it is based on ozone and ions. These layers are called ozonosphere and ionosphere. The ozonosphere is found at the bottom 70 kilometers of the atmosphere. The ozone in the ozone layer is also called the stratospheric ozone. It is located 30 kilometers above sea level. In this picture, you can see it, which is the greenish or reddish envelopes. 
Beyond the ozonosphere or the ozone layer found in the stratosphere, we can see the region of the atmosphere ionized by solar UV rays. This is the portion where ions and electrons are trapped by Earth's magnetic field at nagkakaroon ng tatlong layers, the D layer, E layer, and F layers. These three layers form the ionosphere. They reflect radio waves back to the Earth and therefore play a very important role in radio transmission. Before we have a short quiz of our simple discussion about Earth's atmosphere, let's have an outline of the topics we have covered. In this Shensha Amazing episode, we talked about Earth's atmosphere and we discussed the composition of Earth's air, atmosphere of other planets like Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune. We also discussed the layers of the Earth's atmosphere, homosphere and the terosphere, which are divisions based on the mixture of gases, and lastly, we discussed the ozonosphere and ionosphere based on the distribution of ozone and ions. It's good time! To check how much you have learned, let's have a short quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check kung tamang mga sagot nyo. Let's start! That ends your 3 minutes. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. We can find winds, clouds, and water vapor in this layer. Since layer ang sinasagot, we only have 5 choices. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, 
thermosphere and exosphere. And the layer where we can find weather is the troposphere. Next item, the outer portion of the atmosphere where no mixing of gases takes place. The key word is no mixing of gases. We have two divisions, homosphere or heterosphere. Kapag merong mixture of gases, it is homosphere. But if there is no mixture of gases, the answer is heterosphere. Number 3. At sea level, it composes 78.3% by volume of the atmosphere. We can rephrase this as the gas which is most abundant in the atmosphere. It is nitrogen. You will only answer oxygen kapag second most abundant gas ang tinatanong. Number 4. Meteors are burned into smaller fragments. Earlier, we have explained that the thermosphere and exosphere are very thin which poses no problem to meteors. However, in this layer, gases can create friction and burn the meteors. This is in the mesosphere. Number 5. It is composed of D, E, and F layers. These layers reflect radio waves. At ang layers na ito ay ionized by UV radiation. Kaya ang answer natin ay ionosphere. That ends our 5 item quiz. Comment your score over 5 in the comment section below. I hope you got the perfect score. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!